Hi everyone, so it is almost December, which means Christmas is just around the corner. Whether you celebrate Christmas or not, this time of the year can be a really expensive one. Regardless of all the gifts that we like to give each other, you know, there are so many, you know, lunches and end of year celebrations and dinners and barbecues and, you know, even if you have your own party, that can be quite expensive. You can burn through a lot of cash without even realizing. And I know for myself, as organized as I like to be, often I find myself doing my Christmas shopping last minute. And because I feel guilty about doing it last minute, I tend to buy double the amount to overcompensate, you know, for that guilt. But this year, I'm going to try and be a little bit more organized and plan my Christmas shopping in advance. So this video is just a quick list of ideas I've come up with, um, I guess tips and tricks, of how I'm gonna save money this year on my Christmas shopping. I hope you enjoy it. Step number one is to put together a list. Now, I am a listaholic. I have lists for so many things in my life, but it actually helps me a lot because it takes off the stress and pressure of thinking or worrying that I'm gonna forget something. So I recommend putting together a list of all the people that you need to buy gifts for and take your time doing that list so that there's no one you forget. Once you've done that, you can then put together a few different ideas against each person's name as to gifts that you think that they might like. And then from that, you can also put together uh, an estimated price range as, as to how much money you would like to spend or how much you think that gift might cost. Then if you wanted to, you can tally it all up and see exactly how much you are looking at spending for this Christmas shopping. And you'll also know whether you'll be able to afford that or not and if you've got the cash saved up to do so. Don't be afraid to go through that list and if you think you can't afford all of it, you know, you can adjust the gift price range down if possible. My second tip is to jump online. Not only will this enable you to do some research and find out exactly how much those gifts might cost and where's the cheapest place to buy them, but it's also going to save you a lot of time in having to, you know, run up to the shopping mall, park the car, fight the crowds, and most importantly, the distraction and temptation that surrounds you in walking around a shopping center. I know for Rocco, I have very little self-control when it comes to standing in a toy shop, but I've got a set amount of money that I'd like to allocate towards his Christmas presents, from Santa of course, and um, I'm going to jump online and get them all delivered to me, and one of, some of the websites actually have free gift wrapping, which is going to save me even more time. My third tip is to consider homemade gifts. Now I'm actually a shocking cook, I'm useless in the kitchen but there is nothing more touching and personal than a homemade present. Even if it's some homemade cookies, um, some body scrub, or even if you're someone who knows how to make candles, that's an incredibly um, thoughtful and kind gift to give people. And people really appreciate those sorts of things and you can package them up beautifully. And of course, obviously that saves you a lot of money as well. My fourth tip is just to keep it simple. Go with one amazing, beautiful, thoughtful, kind gift that makes the person say, wow. Often when we buy a gift, we can sometimes think it's not good enough or it's not generous enough or we haven't spent enough money, even though we know the person's gonna love it. And then we compensate for that feeling by going and buying a whole pile of other little nicks and knacks or stocking fillers, which can really devalue the, the initial main gift in the first place. So don't get caught in that trap. Go with what you think they'll love and remember it's a thought that counts. So my fifth and final Christmas tip or trick is actually around gift wrapping. I personally never buy Christmas gift wrapping paper. I find it quite expensive and I always tend to overbuy and end up with leftover rolls of Christmas paper that, you know, take up space in my house and are really a waste of money. Instead, what I do is, and I actually do this all year round, I go to my local $2 shop and I buy heaps of white tissue paper. And I always save the ribbons from when I get given gifts or when Rocco gets given gifts and I just save it in the in a little shoe box and when it comes to wrapping up all the gifts I can just reuse the, the beautiful ribbons of you know the blacks the reds the golds um, the greens and um, I've saved quite a lot of money by doing that also if it looks a bit plain um, you can add things like freshly cut flowers or a Christmas ornament to the gift to add that little extra personal touch so that's it for this video. Remember that Christmas is not about spending lots of money and going crazy getting lots of elaborate gifts for people, but it's about spending time with the people that you love, value and cherish the most, and being grateful for the things that money cannot buy. 
I hope you have a very financially savvy Christmas shopping period. I hope this video helps and I will see you in my next video soon. Ciao for now. Bye.